Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm starting the vlog where I ended the vlog yesterday. Different car though. Anyway, welcome back to today is 9.16 a.m. and Sam and I are headed out for our Saturday date. This is what we do for a date. We go and we get grain and we get go shopping and we go yard selling and we get all the grain we need for the week. It's just fun for us. Like, if you're a farmer, you get it. You know what the fun stuff is. Like, it's fun to like look in the stores and buy different things for your animals each time you go and like I don't know it's just fun we this is the kind of shopping that I like last night we went to the mall to get clothes for the girls I hated it <laughs> but this is my kind of shopping comment yes if you agree if you love shopping for your animals if you love buying dog treats looking for special dog foods or looking to see what's new if you like buying stuff for your rabbits or for your guinea pigs or your cats or whatever animal that you have comment yes below if that's your kind of thing because that is definitely my kind of thing stay there lady <laughs> oh no this is gonna get dicey they are coming <laughs> it's because they see the food i don't know what it is oh here comes honey <laughs> i see her coming <laughs> it's a girl thing <laughs> hi pen you want to go for a ride <laughs> watch she's gonna drag the oh my god she is <laughs> Wow, the flies are bad. Yep, that's all she wants. <laughs> oh, I'll spray you with bug spray. The bugs are bad. That is funny. So what happens when you take a bunch of food into the horse field? <laughs> the girls come running. They're like, fresh hay! Everybody run! <laughs> it took her that long to get up here. <laughs> you can't reach, baby. This is gonna be annoying. We have to try and get all this hay into the, <laughs> that. I bet you a lady's on the other side eating it. She is. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. I've never seen a horse do that before. Like they're out on grass. Uh oh. Here comes Stormy Boy. <laughs> and here comes Crazy. He's running slow. If he was really interested, he would gallop. <laughs> it's fresh food! <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> oh my gosh. The lady's up at the truck. She's like, I'll just get it from up here then. <laughs> Tell me if this is funny. Like, isn't this funny? This is funny to me. Oh, you gotta go. <laughs> yep, this is what happens. <laughs> what? Do you want me to get the girls? Well, the horse is gonna be out of here. Yeah. The little ones can't reach. You guys are funny. It's a smorgasbord. Everybody come. <laughs> Gosh, that is funny. I'm gonna go drag the girls out of bed and they're gonna have to come and get all the horses away. It's like, you know when you go grocery shopping and you come home and you're bringing all the groceries in and then all the teenagers show up in the kitchen because they're so excited to see what you bought? That's what, like, that's what that was, my horse edition. It literally just makes me so happy, like just watching them. People say if a horse doesn't have a job, then it's being wasted on your farm. Hey, be nice to her. <laughs> She was being mean to you, huh? Where's your mask, hey? There's a little porky pig. Anyway, the girls are coming. They both were sleeping. <laughs> but how do they even know this? I just want to get a good picture. Oh, look at that. Sophie shows up. Literally, you're the best horse. I mean, you're all the best horse. Horses, horses have so much more value. Uh, so we pulled in, all the horses were in the field. They all just came running behind the, the hay wagon. They're running and running and chasing us. Are they trying to eat the truck? They're all just trying to have a smorgasbord. Anyway, you and Gabby gotta get them back in that field. <laughs> and it's not like they're starving, I mean, Step on that baby. 
Come on. We need a real cowgirl. Penny, Penny is resistive. So is Lady. This is where Molly should be out here. Don't get hurt, Penny. Don't try and hop that thing. All right, three out of five. Don't try and jump that. Do we only have five horses? Do we only have five horses? Don't go in the car. We don't eat cars. Be careful of Penny, because she'll try and get away from you. Just go over and gently take her. Gracie's getting the overflow. Do we only have five horses? Who's the six? Oh, honey's over here. Thought we had six horses. Don't get Penny all freaked out. I'm worried about her in that spot. <laughs> Gracie's like, just one more bite. <laughs> Penny, you have to go back. Go back that way. Come on, this way. I don't know how you're getting out of there. Go, that way. Yep, go. Keep going. Keep going. Ugh. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, herding horses is not my favorite. I always worry about stuff. Yeah, there's rocks in here. You gotta be careful. Shiny girl. None of these guys are, are obese though for being on the grass. Normally you run away from me. Where's the enemy? <laughs> They're at the smorgasbord. Who's gonna run away in the middle of a meal? <laughs> Get going. Go. Come on. Follow your mama. She's gonna always be the trouble. Sorry guys, it's for later, but I'm glad you like it. Honey. Gabby still, Gabby literally woke up Gabby first. Sam just said, little Starla, also known as Toffee, is just a tiny little thing. All right, last one, what? Flies are bad. The flies are bad, it's nope. July though. You need to get some more fly traps. It wasn't that hard for you. So with our goats, one thing that I learned this year, which is really amazing for husbandry and managing your herd is that. So what I did was that I got rid of the mean ones and then I separated any that like teamed up, so to speak. And I, I, I don't know how to explain what I did. I got rid of the mean ones and then I kept like Lola, it made her own little herd. She has like all the babies, all the gentle, all the sweet ones. I put all of those guys together so that they outnumber the mean ones. And each mean one, we have two. They're not really mean. They're just the boss of the herd. But they're mean to the other goats. I keep them kind of like separate so that they don't gang up. Once they gang up, it's game over for your herd. But so far it's been working amazing. Lola has her own little group of three, her and two others and they overpower the mean ones and they're gentle always. All right, so this is the first load of many, you guys. What? Do you wanna do, you wanna do like a conveyor belt? You wanna do a conveyor belt? Just grab it and go, he says. Only one third of a load. This is only like a, a, minute, a tiny bit of the hay that we got. Those horses literally made my day. Like, you can't be grouchy when you just watch your horses. Like, just sitting there watching them enjoy life. You can't be angry. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should
getting old sucks, you guys. My back is not good for being a farmer. That's what sucks. Like, if you want to be a farmer with every part of your being and yet your back sucks. Oh, but I'll tell you what, it smells amazing in here. Like, this is the best smelling hay. Mm, I love fresh cut hay. It's fresh cut. Harder than you think. I heard running, so I think the boys were in there. All right, you guys, we're almost done. This is almost done. Load one. Three more loads. One more. This is only 40 bales, you guys. Uh, we're gonna go back on Monday and get all the rest of it because ain't nobody got energy for that on a hot day. Oh. We need more skids. This is all for the goats. Clearly the horses like it if we need to use it for the horses. Do you want me to put this skid down, Sam? Like, this is a good skid. Yeah, it's, a, it's gonna be a lot of hay. It's not gonna be a lot of hay. It's a lot for goats or it's enough for goats maybe. I don't even know if we'll use this much. I don't even think know if we'll need more for winter. All right, one more skid. I literally picked this up the last time we were in the barn and I put it somewhere and somehow it blew right in front of my feet. Queen of diamonds, what's the significance of that? Queen of diamonds, I keep finding it. <laughs> yeah, but spiritually, what does it mean that it keeps finding me? I'm a diamond in the rough, he says. I'm a queen of diamonds in the rough. I had a, my brooms in here, and Gabby took them all out. She thought I wanted them to go out, but now we're covered in. Okay, where am I putting this? Just put it over by that door, the trap door, and then we'll take it down later. Right no, you do it. Oh my gosh. Definitely have to close these doors because imagine what we would find when we came back. Oh, I can't even close it. No, it doesn't go all the way. Oh. Like Gabby never made it. That's like <laughs> story of her life. It's not that she's like trying to not make it. I know some of you will be like, yes, yeah, she is, but she's not. She's been like that her whole life. Like even when she was a baby, she needs a lot of sleep. She gets a lot of sleep. She like could sleep for 24 hours straight. I'm the same. I love sleep. And when she wakes up though, it takes her so long to get moving. She's not just sitting somewhere. She's actually like getting up and getting ready and in the bathroom takes her forever she'll come out and we'll be done if she knows ahead of time that she has to be ready for a certain time and she's amazing it's just when we come and surprise her and say get up quick we need help that it takes her forever to get there to be helped so if you're in an emergency situation don't call gabby <laughs> not if you want her to be there quick but if you're in an emergency situation and gabby's there she is so calm and she handles things so well and so amazing so the two sides to every coin, you guys. It's done. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> so something went shopping yesterday and bought new pants. And on one of the pairs, they forgot to take the, that that tag thing off. So annoying because then you have to go back. Oh, again, I had something in my pocket. I'm like, what the heck is in my pocket? I gotta look that up right now. What? <laughs> is the significance of a queen of diamonds. I almost rather it be the queen of hearts. Anyways, we're headed into town to do like our grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. I need to get vitamins. I need to get vitamins. I find like if I take vitamins, I always feel so much better. So I need to get vitamins and groceries for the actual kids, not the animal kids. <laughs> queen of diamonds symbolizes prosperity security and the nutrients of home and hearth. She represents the figure who is practical, down to earth, and generous with her resources. Oh my gosh, you guys, I would give anything to anybody. I'm like so generous. Um, offering support and stability to those around her. That is me. That is totally me. Down to earth is crazy. 
<laughs> so he said, down to earth, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm down to earth and crazy. Crazy is so good. I brought the chicken some leftover um, pulled pork that we weren't eating and I decided to sit here in the field with them and it's been so fun. Like you just sit here and watch them and it's actually amazing. Like with horses, you just sit in the field with them and they just become so comfortable with you. It's the same with chickens. Literally a few minutes ago before Sophie brought me the camera, I was surrounded by chickens and even the turkeys were up here, but now they're scared. <laughs> That's the mean rooster. Anyway, oh, here come the turkeys again. Sam found an ad for emu chicks, like newborn emu chicks for $200 each, which is so cheap. They're like about 400 is the cheapest you'd ever find them. So it's like half price of the cheapest price, but they're more like $600, 550 is average price for them just for one. So anyway, he found it and I got so excited because I know he would have bought me an emu chick if it was $200. He would have bought me two emu chicks. I was freaking out. I was getting so excited because I I don't know why I love birds. It's like a new thing. Like I didn't know that I loved birds when I was younger until I got chickens. Well, even when we had chickens when Gabby was little, I still didn't know that I loved chick. I didn't. I still didn't know that I loved birds. But I love birds. But anyways, so I was getting so excited. <laughs> He's getting so excited, and they were from Alberta, which is like a whole different province. Like like 4,000 miles away probably. And so he messaged the guy and the guy's like, yeah, we deliver for 50 bucks. Like we can ship them for 50 bucks. I like $250 for emu chicks. Like, holy heck man, we're getting them. So then we started like looking to make sure it wasn't a scam. And um, they have like a, a, a web page. They, they have a website. It's called something emu farms and I started looking at it and he so he started looking at it and he's like oh my gosh look at they have a, like a really nice page and he starts showing me all this stuff like all the how legitimate they are and I'm like send me a link because I did so many searches and I couldn't find it I searched and searched couldn't find the name so he sends me the link and it was on Facebook and every time I hit the link it would not take me to the website so I'm like I don't know what's happening like it just doesn't seem real and then I said send me a link for another page another Facebook page he sends me a link for another Facebook page, pops right up when I click on it. And I am 99% sure it's fake. But I never get tricked by that kind of stuff. But this was so close. Like we were so close. We still never would have sent, well, we would have had to send money because we're far. But anyway, you guys, we almost got emu chicks. <laughs> no joke. I don't know where they'd go. We'd have to build this for sure. Like we'd have to take everything out of there and build it into a emu house. And then they just go out in the backyard where it's like a big, huge area for them. But I mean, they're a huge investment. They're like a huge learning curve. They're, they need a lot. But it would have been an impulse buy, let me tell you that. Look, see, they just walk on me. They just think I'm part of the property and just being out here with them is just amazing. Like, I just sit here and stare at them. See this girl? She's starting to molt. All my ones from last year are starting to molt. Remember this guy? It was Sophie's favorite baby chick. I forget what she called him. Well, his name is... What is your name? Anyway, this is what he grew into. He's so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> He's like, yeah, say it again. And then there's our little tiny Silky. She's our tiniest little chicken. <laughs> so it just walks over my leg. They've all officially left me now. But did you guys know that chickens cannot taste spicy things? They can't taste it. Sometimes I put chili pepper flakes in their feed because it's really good for them. It has lots of vitamins and minerals and it helps with egg quality and even helps them to lay more eggs. But also, did you guys know that you can tell if you're a chicken, like if you have a lot of chickens and you don't know which ones are laying and which ones aren't laying, um, you can tell by putting your fingers on their back end, there's a certain spot that you can put it. And if it's like four, three fingers or four fingers wide, it's an egg that lays, but the bones in the back of their, in their back end close up after they get old when they're not gonna be laying anymore. 
and so if they're like two fingers or one finger then they're not laying isn't that cool like you can just pick them up put your fingers there test it and if they're really small in the back then it means that they're not laying anymore all animals are fascinating guys all of them even roosters even mean roosters the turkeys are down there dust bathing <laughs> they're so funny turkeys are the best i know i would love an emu like sam emus are on my list for next year an emu and a cow are on my list for next year two cows those are on my list that's it and meat chickens and more turkeys those are on my list for next year don't you know